I can't tell you how much I love this home. Now I've shown one similar to it before. It was the modern hill country version of the Olivia. But today we're inside of the Carolina version. And let me tell you what, this one is swoon worthy. If you try to settle down or wanna live on a road, you wanna see your options, you're not alone. The tour crew will show you lots of wonderful homes across the US. Come along, let's go. Manufactured, traditional, and tiny homes. Which one would you choose? Let's visit the mall so you can make your choice. We're the tour crew. Yeah, I'm a rock star. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this guitar doesn't even work. I actually paid a guy to do that and he did a fantastic job. I'm super happy with it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go outside. Let me walk you around this home, tell you a little bit about it, and then I will bring you inside of this amazing, wonderful home. And if you've been here long enough, you've actually already seen this, the layout anyway, but I love it. Let's go. Today we're going to be walking through yet another beautiful Schumacher home and it is the Olivia, the Carolina version. Now with the exterior of this home, it is done up in this beautiful stone, very neutral, and it also has like some tan brick going up along the porch area. One of my favorite things about the outside of this home is the black shutters up against the neutral tones really makes that pop. Now as far as the size of this home, this home is approximately 2,786 square foot. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home and the Olivia's one of the best things about them is the fact that they have huge two story great rooms with floor to ceiling fireplaces and this one did not disappoint. I put on the, put on the mic today so hopefully that kind of helps things out a little bit we're gonna do a test all right now the grandeur of these Schumacher homes is absolutely ridiculous so we're gonna start slow and we're gonna try not to freak out <laughs> so when you first come in this is your entrance beautiful huge door that's got to be eight foot all right so to the left when you come in is your first Bathroom, this is your half bath. You have the single vanity, your vanity light, your toilet, and then they ran the plank floors in here, which are absolutely stunning. I really love these floors. And these are my favorite right here. When it comes to sinks, I love, it doesn't matter whether it's whatever type of design it is, I like it when they kind of raise up off of the vanity itself. I like it. I'm a super fan. And then opposite that, to the right when you come into the home, you have this beautiful sitting room. It can be a study. It could be whatever you wanted. You have the coffered ceilings, beautiful built-ins. Really really nice we got the soft clothes in here your chandelier i mean that's what i'm talking about you know what i mean uh, just kind of like hang out and chill for a minute all right but uh, we shall continue now from here you enter into this magnificent two-story great room look at the ceilings Ooh, man. Now, like I said, most of this stuff, like the layout is pretty much identical to the modern hill country, but it's the different variations in design and decor. Like for instance, the fireplace right here, this is done up in like a slate kind of stone where the other one was, I think it was more like a, a shiplap type feel. And then look at, the detail on the wall right here gorgeous and all of that is just highlighted by these beautiful windows letting in all the light look i mean the the walls go all the way around even up here love it and then on the fireplace you do have your mantle and a fireplace 
Now from here, when you pan around, you can see the stairs kind of going up to the two bedrooms up there. And then you also have kind of like a bonus game room space. And then this opens up into your gigantic kitchen and then your dining room off to your left. So we got some cabinets, we got the wood cabinets. I love the grays. And then you have the backsplash actually goes all the way up to the ceiling all the way around. So that's super nice. Huge Electrolux refrigerator. The light dims on, which is super fancy. So the refrigerator up top. And your freezer on the bottom. Whole lot different than those little black refrigerators we were looking at down in New Mexico. <laughs> huge this refrigerator would eat it then you have your microwave and your oven got some pan drawers down below that and then coming along this side of your kitchen you have your cooktop with your range hood and then i'll show you both backsplashes so this is the nice it's like a ceramic tile right here really funky design and then this is the tile the backsplash that kind of goes uh, around the rest of the kitchen all the way up the ceiling and then you have your push out windows which are nice and then these have the built-in blinds or shades whatever they are huge island <laughs> Again, with the soft clothes, you have all the all the different types of cabinets and drawers. Plenty of seating. Get the whole family up here. And then you have some more drawers and cabinets over here. Huge undermount sink. I love these countertops. It's to die for. Dishwasher. So what'd y'all think about that song? <laughs> yep. It's gonna be a chart topper, I can feel it. Coming into your dining room. Again, more beautiful ceilings. I love the drop down lights right here. And the floors, if you've noticed, have been running all the way throughout the home so far. So there are only a couple spots that are gonna have carpet, and that's gonna be the two upstairs bedrooms, I know for sure. But if that's something that you didn't want, obviously you could um, have that swapped out. And then this home has a butler's pantry the tile floor in here matches the backsplash behind the stove. Super neat. So you have another dishwasher in here. Let me know who loves that. Shoot, I love that. You got two dishwashers going? Man, that's a life. Another sink. And then these windows, they just push up. Yep. And then you have all the shelves for your pantry. Gorgeous. I don't think the last one that we toured had two dishwashers. I feel like I would have remembered that. It's one of those things that are like super cool. And then, oh, let me introduce this room. I'm getting carried away. So this is your utility room slash laundry room. So you do have this door right here, goes out to your garage, and then you have your washer and dryer hookups. With some more cabinets.
cabinets. You have a cute little folding table right here. And then your drop zone with some nice built-ins. And then you do have your cleaning closet right here. Very nice. Yeah, so I had that song done up and uh, <laughs> as soon as I got it back, I swear, I was singing it nonstop. Jen was, I'm hoping that she sung it at work. <laughs> but no, I was telling her, I was like, man, you know what would be cool? Is if I can get everybody to do like their own version of that song, film it, email it to me or something like that, and then use it, you know, the whole tour crew family getting in on the intros. Just kind of share some of y'all's talents with the rest of the group. I don't know. Just a thought. So this is the first bedroom up here. And again, this is the first spot that you see carpet. Really big room. And you have the huge double closet doors. We won't go all the way in there, but beautiful. And then what I love about this home design, this is this is probably, if y'all want to know, one of my favorite homes, just like the Olivia. And I love all their different uh, designs that they have with the Olivia. So this is, uh, we're coming into your Jack and Jill bathroom. This is the first vanity over here with the lights so there's one on either side next to each room and then they share the bathroom the water closet common area so your toilet your shower tub combo with the tile surround now i am going to get this um i get it in the comments every time i tour a schumacher home you're not seeing any doors, right? And that's because it's just a show model. So it allows you to kind of flow in and out of the rooms without having to open them up and worry about that stuff. If you would actually have this home built, you would have doors. So don't worry about that. If you walk through a doorway, chances are it's gonna have a door. I just wanted to clarify that. All right, so on this room that we're about to go into, the closet is actually right here in the bathroom. So this is the second vanity before you enter this room. And this is the view into the water closet area. And then into your second bedroom. But yeah, like I was saying, this is, the Olivia is definitely one of my favorites of all the homes that I've toured. And I think we're pushing 165 homes now. So it owns the top spot. Now this is the kind of bonus loft area. Really pretty up here. Turn it into a study for the kids or just a fun little getaway for the kids. And that also overlooks the main living space downstairs as well. Super fun. I do want to know as I tour them, uh, which of the designs do you like? As far as like, because most of the home layouts, right, all have the same kind of like Carolina, modern hill country, you know, they all have those kind of same concepts. So let me know which one you like, whether you like the modern farmhouse or the hill country. There's still a whole bunch more that I haven't toured yet, but hopefully we'll get to them on this trip. So this is your master bedroom. Huge. <laughs> uh, you ever get to the point where you're like, you're wanting to say one word, but another word comes out. I do it all the time. 
think I was going to say humongous there, but huge came out. So it is what it is. Beautiful bedroom. Now, y'all seen this before with the gorgeous master bath. You have your double vanity. So one over there and one over here. And you have this full walk through shower and we're going to do it. So you have your tile tray and then the, the whole wall, all the walls pretty much are tile along the back part of this bathroom. I think it's a little echo, a little echoey in the shower. So and here's the view from the other side. You have this huge garden tub, soaker tub. Like this thing is massive. And then when you do first come into the bathroom on the opposite side of all that stuff, you have your toilet, water closet area, some can lights. Now you do have two closets in here. This is your first one. Beautiful wooden shelves and your wooden hanging dowels. Oh my goodness. And then this is, this is the closet. So if there's a closet in this home, this is the closet. So really pretty. I'm a super fan. All right, so let me know what you think about this home down in the comments below. As far as the price goes, I'm not gonna give you that today, but I will leave the link for Schumacher Homes down in the description below so you can reach out to them and see kind of what a ballpark figure would be for the home that you liked. If you did wanna see the other version of the Olivia where I do mention the price, you can check out this video right here. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. My name's Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.